so let's see clef go down coefficients for j1 equals 1 and j2 equals 1 in short so just in short let us see how to calculate for j1 equals 1 and j2 equals 1 because already a detailed uh, explanation of Klebsch Gordon coefficients for j1 equals half and j2 equals half and also uh, for j1 equals to 1 and j2 equals to half had already been discussed in this channel so link would be provided in the description already a detailed explanation I have given in those videos so those are enough so in this video we'll just uh, see some little things we need to keep uh, we need to keep in view while calculating for this j1 equals 1 and j2 equals 1 just in short so if you want a detailed explanation calculation you can see two other videos in this channel so link would be provided in the description so so first of all uh, here j1 equals to 1 so possible m values are minus 1 0 1 and j2 is equals to 1 so here also possible m values are minus 1 0 1 so and uh, as uh, both of them are equal to 1 so possible total uh, angular momentum would be 1 plus 1 ranges from j1 plus j2 to j1 minus j2 so j1 plus j2 is 1 plus 1 2 and j1 minus j2 is 1 minus 1 0 so uh, it ranges from 2 to 0 and in between interval is uh, 1 so 2 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 0 so these three possible values would be there because uh, it uh, j value ranges from j1 plus j2 to j1 minus j2 maximum value is j1 plus j2 minimum value is j1 minus j j2 and the interval between them must be 1 so three possible values are there and next thing is for j equals to 2 m values are 2 into 2 plus 1 4 plus 1 5 so minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 and for j equals to 1 minus 1 0 1 and for j equals to 0 m equals to 0 these are the possible j and m values now the possible set of eigenfunctions in uncoupled representation so in uncoupled representation the possible combinations are as we know that uh, here actually this is m1 and this is m2 sorry so m1 is having three values and m2 is also having uh, three values and uh, xi of m1 comma m2 is the uncoupled form so uh, possible combinations of them both is three threes are nine so you would have nine possible values so when m1 is 1 1 1 m2 is 1 0 minus 1 and when m1 is 0 0 0 0 m2 values 1 0 minus 1 and when m3 is minus 1 uh, sorry when uh, m1 is minus 1 m2 possible values 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 and m2 values 1 0 minus 1 so these are the nine possible combinations and the possible set of eigenfunctions functions in coupled representation so in coupled representation so for a given value of j so these are the possible combinations 5 6 7 8 9 9 possible combinations are there for this also 9 for this also 9 and those combinations are this only so when j is equals to 2 m value minus 2 j equals to 2 m value minus 1 j equals to 2 m value 0 so that is the thing 2 j equals to 2 2 2 2 m value 2 1 0 minus 1 minus 2 and when j value 1 m values j1 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 m values 1 0 minus 1 and when j equals 0 m equals 0 so 9 possible combinations so next the remaining steps are as usual so all these steps as discussed earlier in the previous videos for a club score down coefficient so you can see this all this explanation part and next thing so this all this explanation part had already been discussed in the previous videos two videos all these things so how we are getting this uh, term equal to one and uh, how we have taken maximum possible values and from that here 
so this is the equation in and uh, here we are we have given j1 equals 1 and j2 is equals 1 so just substitute this 1 plus 1 2 1 plus 1 2 so 5 of 2 comma 2 and 1 comma 1 so this is the first Lebesgue cotton coefficient so here 1 comma 1 z of 1 comma 1 had been converted to 5 of 2 comma 2 so this is the first Lebesgue cotton coefficient so this is first Lebesgue cotton coefficient and uh, next for getting another Klebsch Gordon coefficient so we will just apply j minus on both sides we will just operate with j minus operator on both sides so all these things had been discussed in the previous videos so this is the case so applying j minus on both sides of this equation so this is the case so this all these this is the calculation part regarding that so all this calculation part and the steps had been discussed in the previous videos so you can just check it so just uh, we need to operate j minus on both sides by operating and by taking the eigenvalue of j minus as uh, root over j plus m into j minus m plus 1 so keeping the uh, in mind this formula and applying this and here uh, j and m on the left hand side j and m values will be given right there and on the right hand side uh, for j1 and j2 values we need to uh, consider the quotient and for m1 this is for this wave function this is m1 and this is m2 and for this wave function m1 m2 like that so we know that uh, confusion avoiding things all had been discussed in the previous video so from this we had got another set of Klebsch gordon coefficients so again what we have we need to do is this equation has to be operated with again j minus on both sides so again we are operating that equation with j minus on both sides so possible cases so four possible terms could be coming and the calculations and this is the calculation part for this so from this uh, after the calculation so all this had been discussed in the previous videos just refer them so by calculating this finally we would achieve this so this is the another set of Klebsch gordon coefficients so again what we need to do is again for this equation we need to operate j minus on both sides so by operating m value would be reduced by 1 so initially here m value is 2 so it has reduced to 1 again here it has been reduced to 0 again it has to be reduced so again we are operating with j minus on both sides so this is the calculation part regarding that regarding next operation of j minus this is the calculation part so so finally after calculation we would achieve this so this uh, uh, so these are the another set of Klebsch gordon coefficients so 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 so this form this form had been converted to this form so that 0 minus 1 2 2 comma minus 1 and 0 ma minus 1 0 2 2 minus 1 minus 1 0 2 minus 1 all this had been discussed in previous video so again what we have to do is again operating the Klebsch gordon coefficients sorry so this is the 13th equation so this equation which we have achieved so again we are operating with Klebsch gordon coefficient because that is sorry operating with j minus j minus operator so minus 1 would be reduced to minus 2 so possible values of m are plus 2 to minus 2 so until we get minus 2 we need to keep on operating them so again further we cannot operate so by operating this we would obtain these are the calculation parts and finally we would obtain this equation and this Klebsch cotton coefficient so another final Klebsch cordon coefficient would also be 1 and just like initial Klebsch cordon coefficient is 1 for uh, 2 comma 2 to 1 comma 1 so minus 1 minus 1 to 2 comma minus 2 so final final values also the Klebsch cordon coefficient is 1 so next we cannot operate uh, j minus because it would reduce minus 2 to minus 3 but for j is equal to 2 minus 3 value of m is not possible so next we need to depend on orthonormalization condition so integration of xi i xi j dt equals to 0 if i is not equal to j then it would be equal to 0 so based on that condition and this condition reduces the value of j by 1 so uh, already we had equation 9 
so this is equation 9 so for this equation orthonormal uh, eigen function is this so here j only j value would be reduced to by 1 so 2 is reduced by 1 and if we do product of these both so 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 minus 1 by 2 and 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 plus 1 by so minus half plus half that it would be equal to 0 so that condition would be achieved so from this Klebsch Cotton coefficients we can arrive these coefficients and next thing is uh, we need to consider for equation 11 so this is equation 11 for equation 11 again separately Klebsch Cotton coefficients so for equation 11 this is the equation 11 so j value reduced by 1 so 1 comma 0 so if we do the product of them so has this 1 by root 6 1 by root 6 so here minus 1 by root 2 1 plus 1 by root 2 so both of them add up together we would get 0 so in order to get overall 0 this one must be multiplied with 0 so these are the possible uh, Klebsch Gordon coefficients for this so we would have this another set of Klebsch Gordon coefficients by doing that calculation and for finding another possible set of orthonormal function for the same function for the same function another possible set so here we are just reducing by one again with the one we are just reducing it so for this if we consider we would have this possible so if we do the product of them finally we would achieve zero even if we consider this equation with respect to this uh, equation also minus 1 by root 2 into 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 into plus 1 by root 2 and 0 into minus 1 by root 3 then also we would achieve 0 so this is another set of uh, Klebsch Gordon coefficients based on ortho normalization condition and uh, and next thing is for equation 13 so this is equation 13 so for this equation uh, orthonormal uh, uh, function would be this so j value reduced by 1 1 comma minus 1 so here 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 so half minus half plus half you would have so finally you would have 0 based on all satisfying orthonormalization condition so for probably we should find 9 possible sets that is 9 rows actually there are 9 values so there we would have to get 9 by 9 ma matrix so nine possible sets so this is ninth one so already i have mentioned here so this is first possible set this is second possible set of coefficients and uh, this is third possible set and this is fourth and this is fifth and uh, this is sixth and this is seventh and this is eighth and this is ninth so nine possible sets of Klebsch Gordon coefficients had been found out for different values of phi of 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 phi of 2 comma 1 phi of 2 comma 0 like that for these different values so all these in the form or in the matrix form could be represented as this so all these explanation have been given in previous videos so for a detailed explanation you can refer to those videos which uh, whose link would be given in the description so that is the uh, this is the Klebsch Gordon coefficients for j1 is equals to 1 and j2 is equals to 1 so thank you